I want to jump yeah. to something now, yeah. um, which is, we've spoken a bit about Egypt, we spoke about the marriage, let's speak about Medina, alhamdulillah. You're a graduate of the Islamic University of Medina from the faculty of Hadith. Um, Are you sure? Why not Hadith? <laughs> You went to the Maj. The yeah. Maj is, 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 is molten, it's Hadith, it's a place yeah. of Hadith, right? You've gone to the Jami, you've gone to Sharia, why? Why didn't you go to Hadith? Okay, I sought advice from many, Yeah. right? Uh, and you know, everyone's always going to be like, uh, uh, have that sort of uh, ta'asub for what yeah. they studied yeah. and what they studied, right? Which is perfectly normal and fine. Uh, I remember I consulted the Mashaykh of Yemen. Yeah. Of course, they'll say, go to Kulit al-Hadith. Yeah. Because that's what their studies revolved around yeah. mainly, right? I remember I saw advice from Sheikh Falah Ismail, yeah. Sheikh Rahman. Salim al yeah. who used to come back and forth. And uh, I remember also, I believe it was Sheikh Saleh Saimi. Yeah. They all said to me, go to Kulish Sharia. Yeah. Right? Even though Sheikh Saleh Saimi is a professor in Aqidah. Yeah. Um, and, and the reason that they would normally state was this is Ummul Kuliyat, it is yeah. the mother of all faculties, which yeah. is very, very true. On a side note, I asked yeah. Sheikh Abdul Musan about the same question. Okay. He said, and he's at the Muhadith of oh, Medina. Sorry. What did he, he say? Sharia. sharia. He was teaching in Sharia. He teaches in Sharia. Sharia. Yeah. 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 yeah, he teaches in Sharia. He's still teaching in Sharia. SubhanAllah. Allah. Even Ajib. though he's retired, and yeah. he can just retire, right? Yeah. And not come to the university, he still just goes and teaches. Yeah. He's, he's a different level when yeah. it comes to uh, consistency in teaching mm. six days a week without missing days and stuff like that. No. Yeah. So go I'm on. also uh, dropping a voice now to Mufti Muhammad Munir. Yeah. And I Graduate remember, from the faculty of Hadith. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I remember he sent me nine voice notes. Yeah. Why you should go Hadith? Why should point one, <laughs> point two, point three. Now literally he's going on, he goes, Listen, I know you, I've seen uh, yeah. this, you're a very Hadithy guy, yeah, you're yeah. going to Hadith. I still remember it and I appreciate that. Sent me nine voice notes. I was like taken aback, like, yeah. whoa, nine voice notes. Yeah. Right? And he's very passionate about hadith, yeah. you know. And he's a, he's a disciple in hadith. Yeah. Disciple. Um, okay, type, I was like very convinced I'm going to go to hadith. And until I ran into, at the time, this was back in 2015, Dr. Tahir White. Yeah. Um, Another hadith graduate. He's a hadith graduate. And a PhD holder as well. In Aqidah. Yeah, in Aqidah from right. the Jamia as well, yeah. Um, and he said to me, if I could go back, I would do Sharia. Yeah. And I advise you to go into Sharia. I said to him, why? He said, the subjects that you study in Sharia is much more difficult to find outside of the Jamia. Yeah. Right? And he said that which you study in Hadith, you can find it, inshallah ta'ala. Yeah, outside. Uh, based on his opinion. And when he said that to me, with all the different advices that I received, I just basically went with that, done istikhara. And it was the best thing for me. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Right, because when I was in, uh, in Yemen, we studied a lot of Mustalah al-Hadith, right? Yeah. And I remember when I came back, I did teach Bayquniya, I even yeah. taught Tathkira to, uh, uh, Tathkira al-Ibn al-Munaqin, yeah. right? And then I was going to go on to Nukhba, yeah. to Fikr. Yeah, all books in the principles of Hadith, science of Hadith, yeah, right? Yeah, I realized like, the students don't necessarily even need that. Yeah, yeah. Right? And a lot of the questions that people ask you, and that which people need is mainly aqidah and fiqh. And fiqh. Yeah, 100%. Right? Yeah. And uh, when you go into Kulit hadith, you'll be spending a lot of time. The time that you spend doing usul al fiqh, which yeah. you really, really need. Yeah. Uh, as somebody who's going back to the West, you'll be spending uh, doing mustalah hadith, hadith yeah. tadrib al rawi. Yeah. Right? And I think most brothers, even those who have graduated from hadith, they will agree with that. Yeah. And if you're not continuously practicing uh, what you studied in hadith, is just going to. Yeah, any yeah. subject, you're going to lose it, you're going to figure and it out. When we yeah. talk about mustalah, we're not speaking about fiqh sunnah Yeah. Fiqh sunnah is the it's understanding, the understanding of, of hadith, hadith as separate, so yeah, that's, yeah. We're not speaking about that, we're speaking more about the tools that you need uh, to, to check, check hadith. Check hadith um, yeah. Um, yeah. You have Sheikh Albani, you yeah. have Arnaud, you have yeah. Sheikh Mughbil. Yeah. I've done a lot of the checking for you, yeah. and you coming back, you, you're going to be so busy. Yeah. You are definitely in need of al-fiqh yeah. and the aqidah because there's so many doubts that people have. And when we say aqidah, it shouldn't necessarily just be, you know, the issues pertaining to al-asma wa sifat. We're yeah. talking about also issues related to atheism. Yeah, contemporary issues. Yeah, I mean, contemporary yeah. issues which one should give a lot of time to. Yep. And also the fiqh is very important as well. Yeah. Because we have the enemies of Islam who are always trying to find holes yeah. and contradictions in the sharia. And also the fiqh gives you the tools to be able to reconcile between evidences yeah. and to put things in the proper yeah. uh, context and perspective. I remember my sheikh one time said to me, Sheikh Muhammad Karim, that I believe it was the Ghudayan, Rahmatullah Ali. Yeah. 
Because Ronnie Lowe is alive, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, there's two names mixed up. He said Al Usul, Sur al Nusus, Min al Nusus. Usul, we've translated so that everyone. Al Usul, Usul fiqh, is like the gates of the Nusus. Yeah. And he. Nusus being in the Quran and the Son of the text, yeah. basically. So Nusus yeah. means the text, and Al Nusus means thieves. Yeah. So what Usul does, it protects the Sharia yeah. from the thieves. Yeah. And he, these, uh, these uh, Orientalists and yep. these enemies of Islam. That's exactly true. Yeah. Very, very true. I mean, I um, think in the early days of the, let's say, the Salafi Dao in the UK, yeah. what was missing, in my opinion, is a lack of being able to understand the Usul and apply that to the text. Yeah. And that's so, what maybe made certain brothers extremely narrow-minded. Yeah. 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 So we have, so we have, for example, there was always a backwards and forwards between the, the students in uh, Hadith and in Sharia yeah. as well. That probably still goes on now, yeah. but to a degree. With that Sharia, of that, like you know, the yeah. Hadith, mashallah, they, you can see they, they, like as a whole, they seem much more serious yeah. than the ones in Sharia. Yeah. But I feel like you know the the scale is tipping now because a yeah. lot of them, a lot of the Westerners are now going there. Yeah. A lot of, uh, even now the Arabs, they've started going into. Sharia more, Sharia more because well. of it, you no know, covering a wide range of subjects. Yeah, but hadith, mashallah, they memorize. Yeah, right. They, uh, I remember Sheikh Muhammad Timhambo. He said to me that um, is he a hadith graduate as yeah, well? He's a hadith graduate. Yeah, that he he memorized the uh, al muharrar Yeah, right. Memorized al muharrar However, there's a way around it. Memorize Baluch al-Maram and go to Kli Sharia. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. You know, yeah, there's a way around it.